This is KTAB for you. Welcome back, everyone. We'll continue with our pet segment with Dr. Janice Price from the Windmill Animal Hospital. Thank you so much for joining us. And this is the first time I'm meeting you, so very nice to meet you. We didn't really get to <laughs> didn't get to before. visit earlier. Yes. Yeah, so first, tell me a little bit about what you do. Well, I'm a small animal practitioner, which means I see dogs and cats and pocket pets and exotic pets. I don't see hoof stocks such as horses, cows, sheep, and goats. Okay. All right. So we have a kind of a special segment today. You saw we had a couple cute puppies here. Right oh, they're before. adorable. They're adorable, yeah. So how can we keep them safe? Today we're talking about rattlesnakes, is that correct? Well, we're talking about rattlesnakes specifically today, but mm -hmm. let me interject sure. that with any puppy, they need to have at least three sets of puppyhood vaccines to protect them from canine distemper and canine parvo. Okay. Both of those are viral diseases that are 80 plus percent fatal. And they're extremely expensive to treat and wow. you can still spend a thousand, two thousand dollars and end up with a puppy that has died. So how early on do you need to get these? We start vaccines at six to eight weeks of age mm -hmm. and we get to go to the vet once a month for three or four months. And interestingly, I want really want to emphasize this. Go if ahead. these puppies receive at least two sets of vaccines from a veterinarian, they have a vaccine warranty. For so if ever. they get sick, the vaccine manufacturer helps pay for the cost of treatment. Really? Yes. How cool is that? That's awesome. Yes. Is that at every animal hospital or just with you guys? It is with when vaccines are administered by a licensed veterinarian mm -hmm. and the major vaccine manufacturers such as Mariel or Pfizer or some of the other name brand pharmaceutical companies. Okay. So that's huge because if you do things right and yeah. then something bad happens, you're protected. It's not your fault. It's yes. almost like insurance for your pet. Yes. Very exactly. cool. So Very now let's cool. talk about rattlesnakes. Yes, let's, let's please because I'm terrified of them. I can only imagine. Well, if you're not from around here, rattlesnakes are the scary thing you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Now, the rattlesnakes that are out here are the western diamondback, and a typical diamondback's about three feet long. So we don't have the non-fit monsters like you hear about in East Texas, something mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. but they still are very scary, and they mm -hmm. can still hurt us bad and hurt our dogs and cats and kill them. Is that that on our that's screen right there? That's a typical western diamondback. Ooh, that's They're ooh, not ooh. an aggressive snake. They want to get away from us, but they tend to hang out underneath things, and so you can pick up something and, oh, hello, Mr. Rattler, and underneath. And it'll just strike because it's defending itself. Right, absolutely, yeah. And if you are seeing mouse droppings or rat droppings, I guarantee you will see rattlesnakes because that's what They're they hunt. eating it. Right, so you need to set up your home environment to avoid attracting mice and rats. And then our dogs and horses, we can vaccinate to help protect them from the effects of the venom if they get struck. What if they do? What, what if they do? If they do get struck, they need to be taken immediately to a veterinary center, whether they have been vaccinated or not. The vaccine attenuates or reduces the bad effects of the, va of the venom. Uh, for example, knocking on wood, I don't see any, but I have only known of one dog to die from oh. a snake strike that has been vaccinated. Really? Yes. And that dog was struck right here in the hollow of the throat. We speculate that the venom got in the bloodstream. Oh. And so game over. Right, right, right. It was a German short-haired pointer out hunting. Oh. Uh, however, we have lost numerous pets who have been struck by a snake that were not vaccinated. So moral of the story, get your pet get vaccinated. Get them vaccinated. It will help them survive. It will help reduce the amount of veterinary care they need to keep them alive. It will reduce the amount of skin that is lost from the effects of the venom so they don't have this gaping wound for months afterwards. Okay. Okay. Fabulous. And they can get this vaccine at your and animal hospital. Most veterinarians, which, yes. It's yes. a two-shot series and then we booster once a year for low-risk pets and then high-risk pets such as my bird dogs are boosted twice a year. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining it's my us. my pleasure. The, the Windmill Animal Hospital's information is right on your screen and we will see you back here next month with more informative information. You bet. Thank you so much.